Hey guys, welcome back. Making my own homemade sushi has been something that I've avoided doing for the longest time because I thought that it was gonna be too hard and that it wasn't something that I'm capable of. But I feel like I'm at a point in my cooking journey where I'm experienced enough to tackle this challenge, so I'm excited. We're gonna be making two different rolls today. I wanna to make a California roll and then a shrimp tempura roll because shrimp has always been one of my favorite seafood dishes. So I'm gonna be using this breaded vegan shrimp today. I actually have high hopes for this, surprisingly, because the other day I made like a vegan sushi rice bowl and it was so amazing. The flavors all came together. I had cucumber, seaweed, sushi rice, spicy mayo, and it just, it tasted so good. So I feel like, I feel like I can do this, you guys. I think the first step, obviously, is to just prepare the sushi rice. So this is what I'm using. I'm gonna use the directions in the back of the packaging right here. And then I'm also gonna be following this one video that made like imitation crab meat out of tofu. So I'm gonna be following that part of it. It's gonna kind of be all over the place, but bear with me. A cup of sushi rice into my rice cooker. Give that a good rinse with some cold water. I'm adding one and one fourth cup of water. Two tablespoons of rice vinegar. Half a tablespoon of sugar and a teaspoon of salt. Then I'm just gonna set that to cook and it'll let me know when it's done and it'll cook by itself and I don't have to do anything else. Preheat the oven to 400. So this is what I'm gonna be using for our crab meat today. This is the super firm tofu. I'm gonna cut it in half. Place some parchment paper down on a baking sheet and then bake these guys at 400 degrees for 30 minutes. So while that's baking, we're gonna get started on our spicy mayo. We're gonna use half a cup of vegan mayo, a fourth cup of sriracha, then I'm gonna do a tablespoon of agave, and a tablespoon of soy sauce. Give it a little taste test. That is really, 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 really good spicy mayo, wow. Yum! So now I kind of want to get started on this vegan shrimp. I've actually tried this once before and it was good, but it could use a little bit of help. So this is what it looks like right out of the package. It's breaded vegan shrimp, so that's why it looks like it has breading on it. So what I'm thinking of doing is coating them in some extra panko crumbs to get them nice and crispy when I fry them on the stove. So I just want to reiterate how totally optional this step is. You could totally skip it, but if you're looking for directions on how I made this, I just used the Bob's Red Mill Egg Replacer and then I followed the instructions on the back and made this like egg consistency to get the crumbs to stick to the shrimp. So I'm just gonna dip it like this and then dip it in the flakes. And then I'm gonna repeat that process until I get as many shrimps like this as I'd like. And these are how the little shrimpies turned out. <laughs> they look so cute and so crazily realistic. So I'm gonna fry these up and Honestly, this is a hit or miss. I'm not sure if it'll work out, but I'll let you know. Okay, so our rice just uh, finished cooking. I've been told that it's important to chop the rice like this instead of mixing it. I forgot why, so I'm not even gonna attempt to tell you why. But once it's nice and fluffy like this, I'm gonna take the pot out of the rice cooker so it can stop the cooking process and just cover it with the lid and let that vibe out on the side until I'm ready to use it. So now it's time to make the crab meat. Once the tofu is all cooled down, it should look something like this. And you're just gonna take each slice and get like a cheese grater and use the big ends to grate it into a um, crab-like consistency. And when you're done, it should look something like this. Whoa, that's insane. Veganism, you guys. Try it. Then to give it that extra imitation crab texture, we're gonna add a couple of things in here. We're gonna add three tablespoons of mayo, a heaping tablespoon of sriracha, like that, a teaspoon of sugar, and half a teaspoon of salt. Give this a little taste test. Whoa! I am so impressed right now. <laughs> so now we've come to the part of the video where it's do or die. Very much do or die. Okay, because we have all the ingredients, we have like everything tastes amazing, 
but if I can't get it into a sushi roll form, it's not really a sushi roll. You know what I'm saying? I'm scared. Hold my hand. So this is the brand of seaweed or nori that I'm using. Apparently there are two different sides to the seaweed, a rough side, which I believe this is the rough side, and then a smooth side. So you're gonna put the smooth side facing down. I have a video guide right here, but I'm still very much scared. So I'm gonna take like a heaping spoonful of rice and it's said that you should wet your fingers first if you're gonna use your hands. Um, so I have a bowl of water right here, just so that the rice doesn't stick to my fingers. Okay, I feel like we have like a nice even-ish layer going on here, so now I'm gonna go in with some sesame seeds. This water bowl is really coming in handy. So he forgot to put his sushi mat on. I have one right here too, so I'm gonna do that right now. Okay. So we'll do like this, like this. And then we're gonna add some of the crab meat. So he kinda just does it all like that. Squeeze. I'm freaking scared, I'm freaking scared, I'm freaking scared. Whoa! <laughs> That's so freaking cool! I kind of messed up on the ends, but the ends are expected to be ugly. Now you're supposed to get a little bit of water and put it on your knife so that it won't stick to the rice. Reform the rolls. Take this off. Man, that is gorgeous. Right on the plate with it. What? <laughs> okay, let's try this again. I'm going in with some sesame seeds now. Now I'm gonna put down my mat, pick this guy up, and flip it over. Gonna add my cucumber, avocado, I'm gonna add some vegan crab meat. And then I'm gonna add some chopped pieces of the shrimp. Yum. Give that a good squeeze. Roll it back. Yeah. And then finish the roll. Has the student become the teacher? Look at that. Wow, things I did today, that. I think it's safe to say that I did that. Ah, you guys, they look so freaking good. And I'm not even gonna lie, I already had a little taste because you know how that ends were like really ugly and like not aesthetically pleasing? I already tried it, it's bomb. I need like a second, dude. I'm gonna give it a go in its final form. The way I like to eat sushi is I like to dunk it in some soy sauce first. No! Dunk, baby, dunk, not submerge. Moment of truth. I already know it's good, but moment of truth. I wish I could explain to you the burst of flavor that's happening right here. It's incredible. I love it. I haven't tried the shrimp one yet. It's basically the same thing, except they added the shrimp tempura inside. Here we go. <laughs> Chef's 
chills. I got literal chills from eating that. Why did that taste like real shrimp? I'm actually so surprised at how well the shrimp turned out. I wasn't expecting to like it this much, but it's actually really good. I seasoned it with some paprika, garlic powder, and I think black pepper. It tastes so flavorful and amazing. Next time, I definitely have to make sure to cut them a little bit smaller because they're not very um, easy to fit in your mouth. For the sake of this video, I think I'm gonna eat the rest of this off camera, but you guys, we did that! We made vegan sushi! Let it be known in history books all over the world that today, June 11th, history was made. Okay, this is one for the books. So if you guys want to make this recipe, make sure to check the description box down below. I will be listing all the ingredients, all the measurements, all of that in the description box so that you can follow the directions. If you have any questions, if I miss anything, feel free to comment them down below or DM me on Instagram. I'll leave the handle right here to all my social medias. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below to help me and my algorithm. When you guys like and comment on my videos, YouTube boosts my video to wider audiences and it really helps my channel out a lot so i would really appreciate it if you would do that for me but that's it for this video i can't believe we did that i'm still kind of in shock but as always i love you guys very much and i will see you on the next one bye Perfect.